the fresh wave of sanctions against Russia announced by the Trump administration on Friday targets prominent businessmen close to the Kremlin in retaliation for alleged meddling in the 2016 U.S. elections. On the list were the owners of two of Russia's biggest companies. Some analysts, however, are saying these sanctions may only have a limited impact. I suppose two men only, Oleg Deripaska and Viktor Vexelberg, can be highlighted in this list of 24 people. These are people that do not participate in politics directly. They are major businessmen and manage large assets on the territory of the Russian Federation. But the impact on them and their companies will be quite limited. It seems that nothing will happen on the local level. The sanctioned companies will most likely be financially supported in one way or another. It's clear, however, they are going to need all the help they can get, as the shares of targeted company Rusal dropped by over 40% on Monday, and both the value of the ruble and the Russian stock market have suffered in recent months.